The horror based spiders are going head to head and the crowd is in with it. One from BCL, both from Lahore, one from Team Ultimate Martial Arts. This is not Stu Lahori Fighters, let's go. No guts, no glory, my friend. We're about to get underway with the sixth fight of the evening. Nehal Khan in the black, Sheryar Abbas in the green. Nehal Khan fighting out of the legendary VCL. And of course, Sheryar Abbas fighting out of the recently surging Ultimate Martial Arts. Waiting on the sign from referee Samir Jat. Some good fighters out of that team, man. For sure, and here we go! something about him. I just saw him fight recently at Flogger Series 6 against Babar Ali. Really? Came in and gave Babar Ali a bit of a, a hard time. And Babar Ali somebody who's at least has 8 wins amateur. Nehal Khan for a guy making his debut against Babar Ali really looked impressive. Absolutely. And this is what happened to him in that fight. He was controlled on bottom. And I think this is what he wants to rectify. Get those demons out of his head. Control the other man. Punish him from top and win this fight. Taking a page out of Babar for Ali's book right here, taking him down, being smart. Interestingly so, though, Khan sort of pulled for half guard. Yeah. But, of course, you only you only end up in an advantageous position if you're the guy on top. Exactly. So that was bad strategy there from Sheryar Abbas. But nonetheless, we are in this round. Sheryar Abbas posturing up in black. Uh, Nehal Khan, pardon me. Oh, Memosh. My bad. My bad. No, no, Memosh corrected me there. No, no, you're you're right. Perfectly right. Nehal Khan in black and Sheryar Abbas in green. You yes, got sir. it right, partner. You got it right, partner. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say, this has been absolutely, absolutely fun doing this with you. Pro probably my, my, my favorite time doing commentary with oh, anybody. I appreciate it. I you, haven't brother. had to worry about anything. You're a natural at this, my friend. I don't know I'm about that. I'm just listening to you. <laughs> I'm just listening to you. <laughs> I'm serious, bro. I got you, coach. If you're watching this on Facebook, please leave us a like. Go to our YouTube, subscribe. He's going for an arm bar here. The full fight footage will be... Nice hips. Oh, Never pull out. Goodness. Never pull out. Oh, oh my, my God. Nehal Khan swung him around like a baseball bat, but he has his arm trap. He's going to break it. Yes, arm trap. Oh, he's Spikes that most... him on his head. Spikes him on his head. This that has got to hurt. Mad. Wow, that was entirely all muscle moves. Everything that we saw there, and it was just spectacular to watch, honestly. Honestly, swung him around. Oh, again, some more muscle moves. Gets his back. Trips him with the hook. Takes his back. Now he's back. Oh, back again. both hooks in. He's gonna. He's gonna make him sort of roll forward. And what does Nihal Khan do? Does he just try to stand up and and shake him off? Does that yes, work? Yes, that's what that's that's I think what he should do. Sort of put his points to the hips to this guy. But here we go. He's taking his back now. So Sharyar boss has managed to take his back. He still, he still got. I think he still got like two on one control on one of the hands. It's hard to see from this angle, though. I'm only assuming. This is this is a very interesting fight so far. I think it was Sharyar boss's complete intention from the start to take this to the ground. He's Nehal Khan, uh, pardon me, Nehal uh, Khan obliged him, but ends up in a disadvantaged position in the round, and we go to their corners. Brilliant, brilliant round that was. What do you think happened here? What do you think he do? Talk to me, bro. Shayar Khan, honestly, walking back to his corner, looks like he's a little bit tired from that exchange. But obviously, we could tell that they came out both, I think they came out so aggressive that by the end of it, you know, as we can see, they are a little bit fatigued. Will be definitely it was a war. Sharyar Abbas did a good job to stay on the back. Yeah. He, he definitely won that round. He stayed on the back for the majority of the round. He ri he was riding him like a bad bug, as I said yeah. before. Um, so yeah. Um, and you know what the interesting thing here is? I think Sharyar Abbas 
complete entry from the start was to grapple him. Nihal Khan needs to identify that. Yes. He threw a body kick to uh, Bob and Ali that really caught everyone's attention that night. I think he needs to resort to trying to keep the distance because clearly there's a slight differential when it comes to the grappling acumen of these two guys. Absolutely. UMA guy is coached by Tafu Khan, Al Taf Tafu Khan. That is a hard, hard man. He's he also trains under Jazzy Lone, so excellent drills you can expect. And here we go with the second round. Now he's throwing kicks at Shayar, but Shayar was probably gonna want to cash these kicks, you know. Wow! Big overhand thrown right there though. Just missed him. Ooh. Nice leg kick, catch the kick. What did I say? This is what he wants. This is what he wants. He wants it, and he steps in beautifully. This is some good work here. Big, big shots. Great ground and pound. I like it. You can tell there's a differential in terms of jiu-jitsu here. Absolutely. Oh, but nonetheless, Nehal Khan straight up outpowers him. So he did not on top of him. Yes, and now he's on top, and he's in a position where he can actually do some work. But what he really needs to do, I think he's he's trying to he's trying to choke him out from here. I I don't see this happening. Honestly. I just, I just think he should just take a minute, recover, breathe, and then see what he has to do. I, I agree, the choke from here doesn't seem logical. He's trying to listen to his corner here. Nehal Khan in an advantageous position nonetheless. Absolutely, in an advantageous position. And now he's doing the right thing by peppering him. Just keep peppering him. You, you're going to create opportunities. You're going to create spaces just by doing that. Just let him know you're there. Just keep touching him. Keep Absolutely. touching him. Just so he knows. And there you go. That's what he needs to do. JLP on it. The P stands for iconic. That's what he's known for. <laughs> Short. I don't. I, I just. I just think he should just take a minute, recover, breathe, and then see what he has to do. I, I agree. The choke from here doesn't seem logical. He's trying to listen to his corner here. Nehal Khan in an advantageous position, nonetheless. Absolutely, in an advantageous position. And now he's doing the right thing by peppering him. Just keep peppering him. You, you're going to create opportunities. You're going to create spaces just by doing that. Just let him know you're there. Just keep touching him. Keep I touching him. Just so he knows. And there you go. That's what he needs to do. JLP Sonnet. The P stands for iconic. That's what he's known for. <laughs> Short punches. is annoying his opponent just so he keeps thinking about something. Even though JL's not going to throw anything big on you. Yes, he's just going to get those points and make sure you remember that his fist is in your face. Absolutely. Just a reminder. Just a reminder. Constant reminder. Little rabbit punches to soften him up. To make space. To play with his arms. And to set up submissions if he wants to or create more space for greater ground and pound. Nonetheless, now I do see Shayar Boss trying to sort of sneak out the back door and take his back. Do you see that? Yeah. He needs to clear that arm and I think he'll get it after that. He needs to, he needs to make, clear that arm, get his head under. But, but Nehal's doing a good job of posturing up kind of here. Interesting, interesting work by Shayar. But he's ended up on the bottom still and Nehal Khan is staying on top. will sneak away with this round I feel. Very well could if it stays like this and if he keeps no strikes there we go that's what he needs more of big shot from the top there and JR boss he's trying to set up Whoa. he was trying to set up a triangle and oh he has his leg there yes be careful now doesn't realize I think okay now he's doing a good job wow. oh, he's turning over shots oh, hard shot. shots right there oh my god Samir's taking a very close look at this okay okay that was that was some hard shots there to the head Initially, I thought it might have hurt Shayar Abbas, but he did recover and sort of regain some sort of control. Excellent stuff here, both guys. We're almost at the halfway point of the night. This is the sixth fight of the evening. And we're about to go into their corners, potentially. Oh! There we go. To end the round. I think, I think he thought that he won the foul fight. That was the end of the round. Sorry, my friend, you you did not win the fight, but it was oh, a good man, finish. I love that energy. No, yes, nobody laughed at that. Let's go, Nehal Khan. Let's that's go. what I'm talking about. That Get that good. energy in there, man. Let's go, let's go. These guys are hyped. Both these guys are hyped. Nehal Khan wants it bad. He, knows, my God. he knew he lost the first round, so he I had to come back strong. I got scared, man. I was like, what the hell is going on here? It's like, why is he screaming at me? He's looking right at me. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Don't worry, brother. I got you. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got the best in the country. Thank God. Right. <laughs> I'm sitting, by, I'm sitting with D and M, <laughs> speaking of best in the country. Oh man, stop! <laughs> These guys are ready to go for the third round, third and final round. This is what's so exciting about amateur fights, man.
amateur fights. Three, round, uh, three minute rounds, they start, they finish, you don't realize it, and you see all this action. People say there is no buzz for MMA in this country. Look at where, where we are. Look at our numbers on the live stream. 20 is pretty good. And here we go with the third and final round. <laughs> here you are, boss is sort of playing with his eyes, you know, just making him fall for something. Ooh, nice fate there. Oh! Recovering, keeping him at bay with those legs, but that's not going to work for too long. Punishing his thighs from the bottom, a head kick to, on his way up, first troubles. Sheriara Bas, I'm impressed with this guy. Good shot selection, good jiu-jitsu. He good knows time. what he has to do, yeah, he knows what he has to do in these positions. Good diversity of strikes here, and he's also using those little mind games, you know, looking down, looking up, sort of confusing his opponent, or he's trying to. Nihal Khan, he just probably wants to get back on top and do that ground and pound thing that he did so well at the end of the second round. Okay. Whoa! But the tables have turned as Sherihar Abbas takes down Nihal Khan. My God, this is very interesting. This is where he wants to be. Nihal got taken down, as you can expect. So if it was one of these, wow, he shifts his back as well. Wow, that's, see, Nihal Khan has strength, will, power. Just the only difference in this fight, I feel, has been technique. Nihal Khan is clearly a strong guy compared to Shariyar Abbas. Clearly, he is doing the right things to get up into advantages. These, these are muscle moves and... They are working on his part, on, on Nihal Khan's part, and he's ended, and he's again got that little choke thing that he tried to use in the in the second round at the end. The shoulder choke. We've already seen a crank victory tonight. It's not a far cry, but I mean, it's a possibility. It is, it especially is. in the amateur circuit. You never know. You know what I mean? But I think there's something else he should be trying to do. Oh, headbutt! Oh, oh, head, that, that was illegal. That straight was up. a blatant that headbutt. Is straight up. Oh, he's giving a warning. He should, I think you should ask Shady Arabas if you need some time. I but don't know what, what kind of confusion. That was not, that was that not was cool. nothing. That was just straight up. Yeah, that was just straight going to head at you. Yeah. But again, Nihal Khan's on top. I think he took the second round. Oh. And he's going to oh. start throwing these bombs. Oh. Wow. Good adjustment there, Shady Arabas, making a fall on top of him. Diminishing the power of the strikes from so high. For sure. Posture, posture control is what Shayar Boss needs to do at this stage. Um, but again, as long as Nihal Khan stays on top, he's winning this fight. Ooh! Nasty shots. Shayar Boss does not have an answer. He should have just, he oh, just stayed lovely. there. Wait a oh, second. Wait a minute. Oh! And he's going to stop them right now. Back and forth it goes. All right. So we're just going to put it while he's in that position and make him continue. That was good work in my opinion. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Stay Jeffrey, right there. Samir, John, yeah, stay right there. Don't move. I'll Fuck do it man. for you. Move. Yes, boss. Nehal listening to this corner. Ten seconds left. Wow, this is close. Who do you think took this round? Oh, man. Cheriyar Abbas had a very impressive takedown. But Nehal clearly is trying to do damage to him. And they that. Stop. They go out swinging from the ground. My God. Dad, we go to a decision now. What an interesting fight. I'm really curious to see how these judges score it. Take my place now, of course, the legend himself, Azan Khan Sadduzai. What a fight that was, brother. What do you think of that? Oh, this was this was high-level shit, man. Seriously. Both these guys came in with a lot of explosiveness and a lot of technical prowess. And, you know, uh, what's the name of this? That is Shayar Abbas. Shayar Abbas, man. That, that, guy, that kid is really explosive and he has a really good, well-rounded game. And uh, I love the way he took the back. He, he got the double, double unders. He didn't jump straight to the, to the seat belt because he would have lost the position. I see. Uh, I see. And these guys are the technical, man. They, they know the game. And it's ama sure. amazing to watch these fights, man. Seriously, I'm loving it. For sure, for sure. I actually I agree with all of that. Um, I don't know who won the fight, though, because Nihal Khan used some muscle moves.
victory for Nihal Khan. Yeah, I do believe that um, Shair Abbas, he, he landed the bigger shots. He did the flashier things. He was quite well-rounded, but at the end of the day, it was the guy with the game plan that took it. He, he, he fought a little bit. He fought smart. He knew he was the longer and stronger guy, so he used that, that strength to muscle into positions where he ended up on top on the ground. And that, in turn, just that right time is what I, I believe won him the fight. 